Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting f***ing mouth. So viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom Fondly. Well, hello, my little shake and bake pork chops. I am so excited for today's video because I get to collaborate with the wonderful Nicole Harrington. Now, if you've never heard of Nicole, she is a super sweet lady from the West Coast who is very much like me. Someone that loves pretty things and doesn't have the time for bull Nicole is beyond awesome. She is super sweet. She's talented. She's funny. She's super entertaining to watch and she's mother honest. So if you're in the market to find a new influencer that, I don't know, speaks truth, <laughs> Nicole is your bitch. Don't look any further. You'll love Nicole. It is a true privilege to call her my friend. It really is. So when she asked me to collaborate, I said, absolutely. Unfortunately, we were supposed to do this during the holidays, but y'all know I died. But now I've been resurrected. Yay! So in today's video, I will discuss the products that didn't make the limelight. Products that I have either kind of forgot about or products that I've tried in private and now I feel some type of way about it and I can't wait to yell about it. So thank you, Nicole, for one, coming up with this idea because I am not a creative person. I'm not. <laughs> And that's another reason why you should go check out Nicole. She has awesome ideas, okay? We all need to learn something from Nicole. <laughs> so after you watch this garbage heap of a video, definitely go check out Nicole. I'll leave all her information down below. Go stalk her. I actually don't stalk her. I mean, yeah, she might like it. I don't know. <laughs> go say hello. <laughs> Love bomb the sh out of her, okay? And most importantly, tell her I said, hey girl, hey. Anyway. <laughs> So listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was a lousy influencer last year and I didn't get to make a lot of videos and that was due to timing. And it's not just because my job is a soul sucking bitch, but because some of these products just took so long to show up at my door. And because it took a year and a day, I kind of lost interest. And that is one of the most annoying things about beauty YouTube, if not number one. If you're not first, you're last. And honestly, if all your favorite influencers are putting up videos about the same launch and you're late, and then you put yours up, does anybody really give a No. <laughs> The answer to that is no. So yeah, that said, I am going to try my best to put out more videos this year. And if I can't make a dedicated video on something, at least, especially if I purchase the mother, I will definitely have them included in like a roundup style video or like a fun size or something like that. That said, let's talk about the products that actually I forgot about, legitimately forgot about. And honestly, it was all due to shipping. Martine Cosmetics came out with the Mayday collection. Now, if you are new here, hi, my name is Teresa, I'm a garbage person, and I'm obsessed with Jaws, okay? I'm obsessed with Jaws. I'm so obsessed with Jaws, as you see, I am wearing this lovely Jaws shirt. And to show you how serious I am, I even bought shoes that I have no intention of ever wearing. I bought two pairs of these Sperry shoes, okay? One was like the boat shoe, and the other one was kind of like a weird van style. I think I wore them just to try them on. They barely fit, I don't care. <laughs> That is how much I love Jaws, okay? I know, I know by the way, that Lego is gonna be putting out a Jaws set this year, all right? I know, and I'm gonna buy two. One to use and one to put behind bulletproof glass. You think I'm joking? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I even have a little Brody behind me in all my videos, okay? <laughs> like, I love Jaws, all right? <laughs> Clearly, I love Jaws. So when this collection was announced, I lost my See, I had a collab with Lethal, I had two collabs, and while I am very, very grateful for the opportunity, the initial idea was supposed to be about Jaws, but unfortunately, it got scrapped. So seeing this just excited me to my core, and honestly, I didn't even give a shit if it was going to be good or not. I just wanted it, I wanted it, so I ordered it. And then I forgot about it because that's how long it took for it to show up at my door. And then I put it aside and then life happened. And then I started to panic because I couldn't find it. Little did I know this bitch has been sitting in my closet for a long time. <laughs> It's been actually sitting in the same closet that I had all my mail time stuff. And if you saw that video, then you know how horribly embarrassed I am. <laughs> horribly embarrassed. Anyway. I bought the collection and I forgot. And the collection is not a small collection, by the way. There is this wonderful, beautiful palette, this gorgeous highlighter palette, not one or two or three, but four eyeliners and three delicious lip oils. What the f is wrong with me? Now I'm at a crossroads because while well, yes, I said I didn't care if it was going to be good or not. Now I kind of do care. <laughs> And a part of me is like, listen, you went this long. Do you really want to meet your heroes? You know it might be disappointing. <laughs> There's a good chance that it might end up in embarrassment the way that I met Stephen Page from Bare Naked Ladies in a Mohegan Sun buffet. But I digress. Maybe this should go behind that bulletproof glass. But I know deep down inside, I'm always going to be wondering if this was good or not. So I do plan.
plan on using this for a video in the future because technically you could also still purchase it on a discount, by the way. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Now, if it's anything that I have tried from this brand in the past, then I should love it. But famous last words, right? Anyway, this is a to be continued. Now, the other product that I just failed to acknowledge is from Makeup Revolution. See, your girl got drunk <laughs> and she thought it'd be so hilarious to buy a Tin Man highlighter. However, to buy said highlighter, you needed to buy this whole set. So I bought the whole set and then I forgot about it <laughs> until I found it under a stack of mail. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Now y'all know me, I buy bullshit all the time. Usually under the guise that I wasted my money so you didn't have to. But I truly wasted my money because <laughs> I didn't even make a video on this, okay? <laughs> so joke's on me, clearly. But let me show you what you get in this set. You get a weird eyeshadow palette that reminds me of all of those like weird AliExpress palettes that where like the top, ah, the top comes off, except the top is actually on this one. So I guess it's not that cheap looking. That's nice. You get two hair ties where I'm pretty sure these will actually just rip the hair out of my head. Two lip glosses, one beautiful Tin Man highlighter, one blush, one eyeliner, and one sponge that is supposed to look like Toto. But it looks like a Rorschach test. Some see Toto, I either see Bigfoot or interest growing on my student loan. One and the same, right? So needless to say, <laughs> this will also be joining in a future video on whether this was <laughs> worth checking out or not. Um, my money's on no. Now I hear you, you're probably saying, <laughs> it can't all be bad. And it's not, I saved those for the end. So let's talk about the things that were great. Flower Nose is one of the most surprising brands that I have tried in a very, very long time. And when you see their products, you assume that it's just a pretty face and nothing more. And the first collection that I've ever picked up from them was the Chocolate Shop collection. And it's fantastic. This is really, really good. The eyeshadow palette is super pigmented, very, very easy to use. Yeah, she's a basic bitch, but she's a solid, dependable basic bitch that no matter what you do, you're going to get a flawless look every time. These will never turn muddy on you and the shimmers actually shine. They also released a face palette and this is a proper cool tone dream. Not only do you have two beautiful contour shades, but you actually have a nice highlighter too. How often can you say that? <laughs> This highlighter is a proper demure alien slut. And I know sometimes with cool tone palettes, you kind of have this fear that you're going to be dead, but not with this baby, you're going to look very, very much alive. And of course, last but certainly not least, you have this beautiful blush. And this blush is so good. Again, super pigmented, very easy to blend. And the pan embossing is literal art. This belongs in a museum. And I'm glad that I tried their brand because, you know, for a long time, I truly feared that their aesthetic was just mere products at a haunted estate sale. And not only would I have a demon in my house, but I would also have patchy formula. And listen, I can look past the demon, but I can't look past blush. That said, due to priorities, I didn't have a chance to make a video on this collection. Again, that is the thing about YouTube sometimes is that there are so many things that come out and there's not enough time in the day to do everything. And since this isn't my full-time job, my time is even more limited. If this is all I had to do, you'd probably get about five to six videos a week from me. You'd be sick of me. And I'm sure I'd be on my 10th scandal at this point. Is my name on Epstein's list? I don't know. <laughs> No, it's not, it's not. I love how instead of, I don't know, uh, having like a hairy lipstick scandal or <laughs> like fake lashes, I just jump straight to Epstein. <laughs> and that's why y'all watch me. Anyway, so yeah, my bad, <laughs> my bad. I know quite a few people asked about this collection. They were like, what's your thoughts? And I was like, yeah, it's good. And they're like, yeah, do a video. I'm like, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I hate me too, <laughs> okay? Really do. But, 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 I did talk about Flower Nose, not this collection, but another palette in a video that I did last month. So if you want to see it live in action, feel free to go check that one out. I'll link it in the corner. And when I tell you, you're going to want to do so because that palette has a true Tin Man silver and it's beautiful and definitely, definitely worth checking out. Now, the next palette that I really enjoyed, and I'm a little sad that I didn't make a video on it, is the Diver Room Cosmetics palette. Now, this brand is brand spanking new, and it's by one of my favorite Melty Grim queens, M. Jones. And if you don't know who M. Jones is, I will leave her information down below. You need to go follow Monica. She's awesome. What are you doing with your life, okay? <laughs> Not only does she have really beautiful swatches, but her eye looks always look like they are just the end of the world water world where she just looks like a badass warrior bitch. And I'm like, yes, I want that. 
Anyway, when I saw this palette and I talked about it in Makeup Bingo, I was like, <laughs> I need to try it. The Moth and the Moon palette is so, so pretty. You get five multi-chromes, one shimmer, and six beautiful pigmented mattes. And listen, while the multi-chromes are not my favorite formula in the world, they are still really good. Like, I could not resist. Oh my god, this is everything. You will love this if you're a fan of like a flakier formula, which sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of because usually when it's flaky, it never looks good on me. And I think it's all due to the fact that I have hooded eyes. So I don't have a lot of real estate to begin with. And if it's flaky, it sometimes looks like, I don't know, skin's falling off my face. Or sometimes the texture is reminiscent of an old man's ball sack. And hey, listen, on some it's cute. On me, not so much. So when I initially tried it, I wasn't sure that I was going to like super fall in love with this, but it was such a pleasant surprise. Yes, she's flaky, but she's not messy. I didn't experience like the dreaded glitter death. And the longevity on these multi-chromes is terrific. Especially mixed with some glitter glue. I didn't get any sort of weird texture, no spicy butthole, nothing. Like this is fantastic. And again, like I've mentioned before, the mattes are really good. They're very pigmented, very easy to blend. And I like that there's a little bit of grunge and a little bit of spring. I don't know, it's kind of like the best of everything in this little palette. Everything just pairs so beautifully together. Now the reason why I didn't make a video on this guy is because by the time that I picked it up, it was out of stock. And I try not to make videos about things that you can't pick up. Listen, that is such a tease. And that is one thing that I am not. I'm not a tease. That said, I've been meaning to get back to this, but unfortunately I just lost track of time. However, this is technically currently available as it's time that I'm recording this video. So if you are interested, definitely go check them out. They are definitely worth exploring. And it gets me excited to see what else this brand is going to release in 2024. And I look forward to picking it up and actually making a proper video on it this year. So yeah, my bad, sorry. Now the other product that I loved and I didn't make a video on is from Cleona Cosmetics. This past Halloween, they put out two multi-chrome bundles. And honestly, I probably would have picked up both of them if they weren't so expensive, but each bundle retails for about like, what, $116 US. And the reason why I decided to choose the Trick or Treat palette is because there were colors that I didn't have in my collection and there was also different finishes that I have yet to try from the brand. But I'm not gonna lie, I still think about that extraterrestrial palette because it keeps calling me and bitch, it's calling me still. <laughs> and while, yes, I'm happy with this purchase, I really, really wish I got both. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's no surprise that Cleona is just, ugh, they're my favorite. They're my favorite when it comes to multi-chromes. Anytime I talk about my love of multi-chromes, I always talk about how Cleona is the brand for me. They are hands down the best. And yes, while some brands do come close, they will always be king in my eyes. When people ask me like, oh, what multi-chrome should I start with? I always say like, go to Cleona. Their stained glass multi-chromes are everything. And with the amount of finishes that they have, really, there is truly something for everyone. But the reason why I didn't make a video on this collection is because I, I just didn't want to. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes certain makeup products, I just want to use and not make a video on. And it's funny because when you think about that statement. You assume, okay, you don't want to make a video on it because it's usually tied to a problematic brand. The kind of brands where you have to wear <laughs> <laughs> trench coat and glasses to buy. Sometimes you just want to buy it and just play with it by yourself. <laughs> and I wish I had a better excuse for not wanting to make a video, but I don't. This purchase was purely for me. And sometimes I forget what it's like to be a typical customer, not some stupid bitch who has a YouTube channel reviewing new makeup, which started as a hobby, now turned into a job. And sometimes purchasing makeup just feels so lackluster and just not exciting. So every now and again, there is that one product that I just, I wanna love and play with in private. And when that happens, it's glorious. It really is. That is until I become hypocritical and make a video mentioning my purchases that, you know, I just did make a video on, so yeah. Spoken like a true YouTuber, hypocrite. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the shit that bombed. Otherwise, I will just be I my hand all day. So House Labs, they make beautiful products. And they had a really decent streak going on as until they released these two abominations. And it's funny, um, ever since purchasing these, I feel like I've only seen these palettes on sale. And it just blows my mind. First of all, I merely like mentioned these in a video. And initially I was gonna make a review on it, but no, no. <laughs> No, these didn't get a proper spot in the limelight because I just refuse to ever put these on my face again. My eyes had such a horrible reaction to the formula. I don't know what's in it, but it burned the 
out of my eyes for days and it caused me several days of not being able to film because my eyes were so raw and red. It won't even allow me to open these packages up. Oh my God. It's actually hilarious because when you swatch them, which I will never touch these ever again, but when you swatch them, they are so pigmented. It's not even funny, but these mother are the emperor of new clothes when it comes to eyeshadow. No matter how much you layer on, nothing is there, which is even funnier because sure, while well, I can't get this to show up on my lids, I can sure have this show up in 4K all over my face. So yeah, these can go themselves. <laughs> I hope this brand never releases another eyeshadow palette again. I don't even want to try the next one. Not if it's going to be like this. Moving on to Give Me Glow Cosmetics. What happened? What happened to this brand? They used to make good What is this? <laughs> I was so excited to pick these up. This is the uh, Butterfly Vibes, and then this is the Juicy Blueberry Palette. I was so excited about these. And I don't know if this is just a different formula from their previous palettes, but it pales in comparison. It really does. And the reason why it didn't make it to the limelight is because I was gutted. I sincerely thought, okay, this has to be me. This is a me problem. And as much as I would try to make these palettes work, it was like getting blood from a stone. The mats were patchy and muddy and some while looking super vibrant and pan are so lackluster and they lift after two hours and the shimmers have like a bizarre texture that is just I don't know reminiscent of a crusty cold sore <laughs> they are flaky and hard and if that falls into your eye guess what you're because it blinds you for a few minutes. So yeah, as much as I do love on things, and I really do, I was genuinely gutted about these products because I really do enjoy this brand. And listen, it's one thing to have a bad palette, but to have two back to back, that was obviously clearly too much for me to handle. <laughs> I just couldn't. I was just so depressed looking at these. I was like, I just, I can't. Even thinking about them now just makes me sad. <laughs> I can't, just be gone, baby, be gone. So the last set of products <laughs> that I wanna talk about is from Black Moon Cosmetics. And honestly, dude, I should have known better. I should have known better. I think there was like maybe one product from this brand that I liked uh, 50,000 years ago, but everything since then has just been dog And that's just to put it lightly. <laughs> And the last product that I picked up from them uh, was the Urban Myth palette, which to this day is probably one of the worst purchases I've ever made. That one still irks me to my core. How can a brand do something so beautiful yet be so is beyond me. But since that release, right, I swore off the brand. That was until this past Halloween, they decided to release these really cute little sets. And listen, I remember during Makeup Bingo, I was a little f***ed up. And I was like fawning over how wonderful these looked and how I wanted to give them a chance, blah, 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 whatever. And honestly, I should have known better. But these are some of the worst products that I definitely have tried in 2023, but probably in my lifetime. <laughs> lifetime. So much so that even just a thought about me making a video on them would turn me into the Scarlet Witch. The world's not ready for that. Not yet. Almost, but not yet. That's reserved for my farewell tour and you're going to want to be here for that one. Anyway, each one of these duos retails for $34 and what you get is a lip gloss and a blush. Now the lip gloss formula, it's weird. It's weird. The only one that's somewhat opaque, I would say, is probably the vampire one, but not by much. If anything, it has the same opacity as fruit punch mouth. And we all know how attractive that is. The formula is kind of thick, but also has like, kind of like a waxiness to it. The only way that I can describe it is if I put a wax melt in my mouth um, and was like, this is gonna be my lip product. Like, that's what it felt like. And also tasted like. It has a very strong, weird taste. The taste is so weird that even when drinking like a bottle of water, it would change the taste of water. <laughs> So much so that I was like, I, I can't do this. I had to like scrub my lips for 10 minutes and then drink water just to try to get some sort of normalcy in my life. And the kicker is the formula is very weighted too. So it just felt like you just had a lot of weight on your face. It was just terrible. So, okay, fine. The lip products can be deemed as a chemical weapon. I can look past that. But what I can't look past is blush. Now the recently deceased blush, right? Like it's kind of like this really just beautiful purple moment. And she's a little funky. She's a little out there. And well, okay, I wasn't really expecting much from this little guy. I thought, ah, oh, it's probably gonna be like a funky blush highlighter, okay? Do you, you, where is it? <laughs> where the is it? <laughs> when applied to the face, you kind of get, yeah, maybe a light, 
purple. No, that's actually being generous. I think that's the veins on my hand giving me the pigment, okay? Instead, what you get is sparkles. And not just a normal sparkle. You get Joanne Fabric craft sparkles. The same kind of sparkles that are so difficult to remove that for, I don't know, for at least half the day, I kind of made peace with the fact that I was no longer 100% human. I was now 35% sparkle. And not even a cute sparkle, okay? Like this is just ugh, gross. But listen, the fun doesn't stop there. The dead and delectable duo, oh, <laughs> baby, this is wild and not in a good way. And I know for the description, it was going to be a little funky because like, hey, it's definitely like a gray product. There's some purple to it. But boy, howdy, no matter what I would do, no matter how little or much of the product that I would use, it always blends out into it looks like I got the kicked out of me. And the is just, just so dry too. So yeah, I don't think I could wear this in public. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. Let's talk about the last one. And that's the pumpkin badge. Now this is the only one that is truly pigmented to its core. Yeah, I don't know, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. But the thing about this one is that it's so orange. It is so off-puttingly orange that it just turns me into an Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa, Jupiter D. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. And not buy this product, because there was a time and a place for Jersey Shore, and it ain't it in 2024. Anyway, needless to say, uh, this didn't make the limelight because I was traumatized. From chemical reactions to the sh getting kicked out of me or to looking like a cute little Oompa Loompa. I just couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't do it. Anyway, now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know if you have tried any of these products and what you think of them and if you do like them or if you hate them or whatever. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And hell, listen, if you are a content creator, what are the products that didn't make the limelight for you? And of course, please go check out my girl, Nicole. Tell her I said, hey girl, hey, and love bomb the shit out. That said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you, and I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly, and we can be one, and we can have the best time ever. If you want to know what is currently on my face, if I remember everything, I will link it down below. If not, tough titties. <laughs> and with that said, I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.